Over the years, our public buses have evolved with much better accessibility for everyone. From no air conditioning to fully plus cold temperature, diesel power to electric buses, step buses to wheelchair accessible buses. Oh wait, wheelchair accessible? Did you know that there are steps and procedures to declare both bus stop and bus services wheelchair accessible? In today's episode of the driver's seat, DMA will showcase to you all about wheelchair accessibility in public buses. Our public bus services went wheelchair accessible, starting with Service 21 in 2006. The first movement involved deploying then new Volvo B90 LCBDE, since the areas that Service 21 served in the neighborhood estate of the population to elderly and disability. Till then, SBS Transit added 10 more new WAB buses. It means that one in two buses has a wheelchair accessible bus back then. First and foremost, to declare a bus with certified wheelchair accessible, the bus stops along the route must pass its criteria first. For example, are the walkway accessible enough between the bus stops and footpath for wheelchair passengers? Is the bus stop pay more expensive for wheelchair accessible bus models? Are the size of the wheelchair ramp good enough between the bollard of the bus stop? Is the bus stop shelter able to accommodate wheelchair commuters? These are the following needs to pass the criteria for the bus stops to be certified as wheelchair accessible. Notice that not all bus stops in Singapore are 100% wheelchair accessible. Second, the bus service fleet needs to have more wheelchair accessible bus. For example, Service 172 operates 16 buses. Out of 16 buses, there must be at least 7 to 9 buses to operate under the wheelchair accessible bus. In scheduled duty block, the arrangement of these buses must be in a pattern system, like one wheelchair accessible bus in every three buses, so that passengers in wheelchairs do not have to wait for a more extended frequency to onboard the wheelchair accessible bus. As an improvement by the LTA, arrange a rather convenient system to have such duty blocks with one wheelchair accessible bus every two to three buses. And finally, see which bus service needs wheelchair accessible or we can say that in the early days between 2006 to 2011. Then, SBS Transit deployed the then new Volvo B90 LCDGE and Scania k 230 ub Euro Force to those bus services that serve a massive demand of elderly passengers and bus services in the city landmark such as Chinatown, Little India, CBD and Orchard. As for SMRT buses, the wheelchair accessible bus services were certified to feeder and each town bus services first, alongside the trans services that served the highest demand of elderly on board. From 2008 to the present, all newly introduction bus service is automatically certified as wheelchair accessible. Over the years, the public bus network in Singapore has improved with everyone can board. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching this episode of the driver's seat. Leave a like, comment, share and subscribe.